He holds all things, all things, all things together. He holds well, hello, Lakeside. Uh, we hope that this finds you well. And we look forward ourselves to the day when we can greet you in person and not through a video. As a sign of the times, uh, when I went home yesterday, my boys were excited to tell me that uh, the newest episode of Sesame Street, which isn't their favorite cartoon, uh, but they really enjoyed it because the whole episode was done as a Zoom call uh, between all of the characters. <laughs> And they appreciated it. It helped them understand what many of us adults are doing uh, in trying to maintain our, our work and our uh, connections and our relationships through video. Uh, and we're thankful for the technology that we have, uh, but we all realize and sense it's not a substitute for the ability to be together. And we long to be together again. Uh, this coming Sunday will be the sixth Sunday uh, that we will not have gathered together uh, for worship here at Lakeside. And, and I think all of us are increasingly sensing that desire uh, and, and longing uh, for connection and uh, for being together. And we await guidance on when that can happen, but we already look forward to and, and have a sense of anticipation and expectation about that day. And we hope that uh, you have found it encouraging to go through the Psalms of Ascent as we've been sending out a, a worksheet, even if you've not been able to join one of our Zoom studies, because these Psalms uh, give a lot of appropriate words and language to this feeling that we all have where we're not in our familiar space or routine anymore, but we're not yet where we want to be for the children of Israel to be in Jerusalem with people. And so these songs express that longing. And uh, just two weeks ago when we were in Psalm 124, it was a particular encouragement to me when the psalmist says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And in reflecting on that psalm, one of the questions that we asked for people to share was about an experience in their own life that they could look back on and similarly testify that if it had not been the Lord who was on their side, that they don't know how they would have gotten through something. And it was such an encouragement and faith builder to hear the different testimonies that people shared of previous experiences that they can't explain how they endured or got through apart from God's protection and grace. And as Christians, we believe in the future promises of God, that we don't have a pessimistic view of the world that things are going to go from bad to worse. But instead, we believe by faith that we will go from grace to grace that there are so many promises of Scripture for the future that are good and great and ultimately realized in heaven, that we have reasons to be hopeful about the future, come what may. There's a song that I think captures that sentiment well called We Will Feast in the House of Zion by one of my favorite artists, Sandra McCracken. And whether you've been following along with us in the Psalms of Ascent or not, uh, we wanted to send this uh, song to you as an encouragement, as a song you might learn if you've never heard it, and if you know it, that you could join in singing along with. As all of us anticipate the day when we will be together again, as even just a foretaste of the ultimate day when we'll be together in heaven. And it's a song that we need as an encouragement now and as an expression of our faith in the future.